Hello boys and girls. Today I wanted to review cause and effect. You did a worksheet on this last week, um, but I wanted to go over it again since we haven't actually talked about it in class in a long time. So cause and effect. Let's remember the cause is why something happened, okay? Why something happened and the effect is what happened. Okay, so when we're looking at stories, we can find the cause and effect. So we can find something that happened and figure out what made it happen. Okay, so we have we usually have cause on the left and effect on the right because the cause happens first and the effect happens after it. But sometimes when you're trying to figure out the cause and effect, it can be easier to go backwards when you're doing this. Like you can find the effect first. You can figure out what happened first and then ask, well, why did that happen? Oh, because this happened, and then that is your cause. So sometimes it's easier to start with what happened, figuring out the effect, and then asking why it happened and finding the cause. So sometimes it's easier to work backwards, okay? But you can also work forwards as well. We're gonna do both today. And then you can choose which one works best for you, okay? So um, let's come up with a real life example. All right, so if I pinch my arm, ow, what happened? What happened? So we'll start over here with cause. We'll start with cause. We'll start on this side. So I pinched my arm, right? I pinched my arm. So then what happened? It hurt, right? It hurt. I said, ow. So it hurt. So then my arm hurt. So we are seeing what happened. My arm hurt, right? But why did my arm hurt? Because I pinched my arm. So the cause is that I pinched my arm ow, and then my arm hurt. I need to stop pinching my arm. I got to stop doing that. It hurts. So I pinched my arm. That's um, why my arm hurt, okay? And you see how it was, I can also work backwards by saying, oh, my arm hurt, and then asking, wait, why did it hurt? Oh, because I pinched my arm, okay? All right, now we're gonna look at your story for today, so I hope you have read it. If you have not, pause the video, read your story, and then come back to this, because we're gonna use the story super tools to find a couple cause and effect examples from it, all right? So remember, in the story, Lucy's mom and dad bring her a computer, and so then she doesn't use her writing utensils as much, and they feel sad and they try and remind her what it's uh, that it's fun to use your writing utensils, okay? So, all right, I have a question. We're gonna start with effect, and the question is, you know, what happened? So. I'm gonna say what happened is that Lucy stopped using her writing utensils, or her writing tools. So Lucy stopped using her writing tools, okay? So Lucy stopped using her writing tools, but why? Why did she stop using them? because she got a new computer, right? So, she got a new computer. All right, actually, instead of the pronoun she, I wanna put the noun Lucy. So, Lucy got a new computer was the cause, all right? And then the effect of that, so that's why something happened, she got a new computer, and the effect of that is that she stopped using her writing utensils. So what happened was Lucy stopped using her writing utensils, right? And here we figured out why she stopped using her writing utensils, because she got a new computer. All right, that makes sense, right? Okay, now we'll do it again, and we'll start with the cause and then go to the effect. Okay, now, let's see. The next one, well then, like I said, the utensils want to remind her, right, about what is, why it's fun to use your writing utensils and not just a computer. So, 
let's see, we'll say the tools, we'll just call them tools for now so we can fit it in here. The tools wanted to remind Lucy that they are fun to use running out of room but I think I can just fit it in here we go there we go all right so the tools wanted to remind Lucy that they are fun to use that was their cause that's why they did something so what did they do they drew a picture right they will use the pronoun they because we're talking about more than one noun they drew a picture Okay, so the tools wanted to remind Lucy that it's fun to use writing utensils, writing tools like them, so they drew her a picture. So because they wanted to remind her about that, they drew a picture. Alright, so what happened was that they drew a picture, and why did it happen? Because they wanted to remind her how fun it was to use um, coloring pencils and everything like that. Okay, alright, so boys and girls, that is cause and effect. I'm also going to um, share another video that I think will be helpful as well. So you can watch that as well to just help remind you. But that's a couple things from today's story. See if you can come up with any more. There are um, more causes and effects in the story. There's causes and effects in every story. So see if you can figure out some more. That'd be really cool to see. All right, boys and girls, have an awesome day. You are doing a great job and keep up the good work.